Well, all Canadians love camping. I don't. What? No, I don't like it. Well, what about the time we went camping and we were out canoeing on that beautiful lake? We tipped over. Oh, yeah. Well, what about the time we went camping and we were sitting around the campfire enjoying our s'mores? Well, the mosquitoes were enjoying us. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, what about the time we were able to go camping and we were sitting out under the stars enjoying God's creation? Well, I nearly froze to death. Oh. Got anything else? Okay, not all Canadians love camping. But you know, Fuzz loves camping. He does? Yes, he does, but the problem is he's not a good camper. Oh dear, why is that? Well, watch our show and you'll find out. Okay. Look at all this trash, Oreo. This is terrible. Oh my. There's litter everywhere. And look at that. A fire left unattended in a restricted fire zone. That is so dangerous. Obviously, this person doesn't care about the forest and the wildlife. Who would be such an awful and thoughtless person? Hi, Monty and Oreo. How do you like my campsite? This is your campsite? Obviously. Isn't it great? I have my tent over there and my fire going over here. But Fuzz, you can't have a fire because of the fire restriction. It's too dangerous. I'm not worried about those restrictions. Nobody follows those rules anyways. Those rules and regulations keep everyone safe and the campsite's in good condition for the next camper. The rules help keep the wildlife safe too. Oh, you're starting to sound like a bunch of nature lovers and tree huggers. You're destroying the forest and endangering the lives of our friends. No, the forest is to enjoy and have fun. No one cares about those wild animals. Well, we do. You're destroying my friend's home with all this mess. Why? Don't you guys want to just sit down by the fire and make a s'more? Let's go, Oreo. I don't want to be here when the conservation officer comes around. I bet Fuzz is going to get fined. Fine? No one's going to find me for having fun. You don't have to leave. No thanks, Fuzz. We better go. See you later. What's their problem? Oh, I'm hungry. I'm going to make another s'more. Look at all this mess! Fuzz, is this your campsite? Oh, hi, Penelope. Yep, this is my campsite. Nice, eh? Not really, Fuzz. This campsite is full of litter and garbage, and people are complaining that you're burning a fire over there. Is that true? Well, yeah. How can I have s'mores if I don't have a fire to roast my marshmallows? It's not camping unless you have s'mores, right? Wrong, Fuzz. There is a fire restriction in this campground. You're putting a lot of people and animals in danger. I'm sorry, Fuzz, but I'm going to have to fine you for littering and having a fire. What a fine? Why? for not following the rules and ordinances of the province of Ontario. And as a conservation officer, I have to fine you for your safety and the safety of others. Oh, come on, Penelope. We're friends. You can just give me a warning and I'll clean up the mess and put out the fire. Sorry, Fuzz. It's too late. I have to do my job. 
Please, I'll be good. I can't afford a fine. Well, you should have thought about that before you broke the rules. Penelope, I thought we were friends. That badge has gone to your head. You would give your own mother a ticket. Fuzz, here's your ticket. You have 30 days to pay. Now, put out this fire and clean up this mess. Yeah, thanks for nothing. Ah! Hi, Fuzz. It looks like you cl you're cleaning up your campsite. It looks a lot better. Yeah, and you put out your fire. That's a lot safer. I didn't have a choice. Miss Penelope, the conservation officer, fined me for having a fire and a messy campsite. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, but I hope it taught you a lesson. Yeah, it sure did. Penelope is a bad friend. I don't like her any longer. I'm not coming camping here anymore. Fuzz, don't be angry with Penelope. She's just doing her job. She's responsible for the safety of all the people on the campground, including you. And all the animals, too. As a good citizen, it's important that we follow all the laws and regulations of our province. We also need to obey and appreciate those who are enforcing the laws. The Bible says in the New Testament, submit yourselves to every ordinance of man for the Lord's sake. What does that mean? That means we are to obey the rules and regulations of those in authority for our safety and the safety of others. When we obey those in authority, we are also obeying the Lord. We live in a beautiful country with many blessings and freedoms. But to keep our country beautiful and safe for everyone, we need to think of others, not just ourselves. Oh, I guess you're right. I shouldn't get mad at Penelope. She has a job to do, and I need to be a better camper. I'll pay my fine if I have to, I guess. That's the spirit, Fuzz. You are taking the steps to be a happy camper. Well, it looks like Fuzz learned his lesson about camping. He did. Don't go. No. He learned that in order for everyone to have fun camping, they have to follow the rules. Okay, whatever. All right. Well, you ready? All packed up. Well, we're all going to the campground. Drop me off at the first motel. You know your problem? I have a problem? Yeah, you're just not a happy camper. You got it. Oh.